he introduced us as, you know, this the new members of uh, Cash Money. And then Yellow raised his hand like, hey bro, y'all bringing all these new dudes in here. What about the money from our last project? Because prior to that, we had got offered the opportunity to be with Cash Money. Mm. Yeah. Can we talk about that? Yeah, Cash Money had took over the little town at night and they started doing the Cash Money Fridays. And uh, they say if you win three times in a row, you can get a deal with Cash Money Records. So we won three times in a row, me and Kango. Big Heavy was the host at the time. And um, Babe and them approached us and you know told us like, let's have a meeting, come to you know the office. The office was at the Gas and Light building on Barone. We went in there and uh, he introduced us as, you know, this the new members of uh, Cash Money. And then Yellow raised his hand like, hey bro, y'all bringing all these new dudes in here. What about the money from our last project? And then right there, that had rubbed me the wrong way. This was a negative vibe out the gate. So I was just more like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Then, but the deal just didn't go through like with, 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 with us and Cash Money. So that's how we wind up landing a deal with Big Boy Records, like because uh, we just we just couldn't do the. And that, that that not concluded with you guys making the decision that you're not gonna fuck with. Well, yeah, from that from that uh, meeting or whatever, the way it was going, the stuff that was going on in the room, I had felt the negative energy. I always had a great discernment spirit of like, you know, I know when something ain't mixing. So I saw that we wasn't directly welcome. Baby and them was welcoming welcoming us, but some of the artists was just feeling like, you know, like I don't really feel them dudes. You know what I'm saying? So. With that being the case, I had just told Kango, look bro, they, cause they was trying to separate us too, you know, it was, had us, you happy, I met you, I saw you by yourself, I heard him, and it was a lot of little stuff. So I had told Kango, you know, go ahead and rock with them, bro, if you want to, but, you know, I, I, I can't rock with it. Kango said, man, you know, you brought me in this game, I'm with you 100, wherever you go, that's where I'm going, and that's, that, that was, that was, that's why the big boy, I mean, the, uh, Cash money thing didn't go through for us. You guys that signed with Cash Money, do you personally think that would have been a good fit? And what do you, what, what, what do you see you guys on Cash Money? Oh, uh, I think we would have gelled good with them because uh, I thought we had a swag that could have worked with pretty much anywhere we went. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we was making songs that was competitive to the artists that they already had. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, even with the rivalry we had with UNLV, you know, you could tell that we could, we, we was going fist for fist, you know what I'm saying, with it. Like, so I felt like if we was with them, you know what I'm saying, we, we, we would've did our, our part because we, we was already creative and knew where we wanted to go at with music out the gate, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I thought it would've been a good jail, like for us if the business would've been straight, because it's all about the business at the end of the day. Like, if the business good, you know, we we could make it work, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you think that night when, when, when Yellow say what you say it has something to do with the beef? Well, what happened was when, when, when he did that, you know, I had, I had a talk with Lil Ya, you know what I'm saying? We just did like a little thing together recently on his little podcast and we spoke about it and uh, he was more like thinking that Part of the Crown was trying to be UNLV and, and that's where the uh, conflict was at. That's how they felt. We was like kind of fans of them because they was already on before us. So we really had more respect for them than they probably even thought, but they thought that we was trying to copy their style, and it was like, they didn't think Cash Money needed another group like themselves, like, you know what I'm saying? So we became, we could have been label mates, but we became robberies, like, because now we on the other side of that, you know? <laughs>